To get started, app definitions are what describe an app when they're installed in a space. When we create an app as a developer, we want to define an app definition, which allows us to tell Contentful where our app is going to show up, where it's hosted, the name of the app, and other various things that the app might want to interact with. If we look at the domain model for Contentful, we'll see one thing, which is in the top left corner in organizations, this is where app definitions live. In order to create an app definition, you need to be an admin or a developer inside of an organizational space. The reason that app definitions live at the organizational level is because their configuration can be defined globally. As we move into app installations, we'll talk about how app installations live at the environment level. To understand how to create an app definition, Let's walk through the basic steps that are required to be able to create an app definition and have it show up for your various spaces. To start, I'm simply in a space that I've just created here, and I'm an admin of this organization in which I'm currently logged into. If I go into the organization settings of a space, I can see that in the top menu bar, I have an option to choose apps. In this area is where all of my custom app definitions live. These are the apps that I've created as a developer, and they show up for me as I install them into different spaces. To get started creating a brand new app definition, I'm going to go over to the button on the right that says Create App. Here I'm presented with a form to start filling out to create my app definition. Of course, my app does need a name, so I'm going to give it the name of my app. And as we develop locally, we'll see that we can host our app on our local machine. And if we use the Create Contentful App tool, this will be hosted on localhost 3000. So I'm going to go ahead and fill that in here. As I fill this information in, you can see that more of the form gets exposed. Here it's asking me about locations, which is simply where my app is going to show up. While we will dive into all of the different locations in the future, I'm going to simply create a entry field level app, which is going to take over a short text field. And we'll see a demo of that in the upcoming video. I'm not going to make any more setting changes right now. Instead, I'm going to click Create up in the top right. Now I have a brand new app definition, which contains all of the configuration for my app. If I go back into my demo space here, and I go back into the top menu, and I click Apps, and I click on Manage Apps, you can see that in the list of available apps, my app is now showing up as ready to be installed. Now that we have an app definition created, we can understand that apps should be installed at the environment level. What this means, looking again at our domain model, is that every time we install an app, it gets installed into a specific environment or space. This is very useful for when we want to make sure that the same app can be installed in different spaces with different types of in-app configurations. Installing an app is as easy as clicking on it and accepting that you're going to authorize access for the current space. Once the app is installed in a space, it'll show up under the list of installed apps. Now let's move on to actually creating an app. 